Yes, Steve, it is a very different mood here in Alki Beach compared to just a few hours ago. We are right now on the Alki Trail, and you can see behind me that there is a significant Seattle police presence because just beyond this line of officers that you see right now, there uh, just, I would say, in the last 15 minutes ago, a very large crowd that had convened here for a party. I got to say, in the last couple of minutes, though, things are clearing out. You can hear in that loudspeaker officers clearing these crowds from the area right now. Again, this is on Alki Trail specifically. everyone here who are currently convened to uh, to be clearing this area. So also earlier we heard that already happening over there just got a little bit out of hand. We heard that there were about a couple of fights and a couple of arrests according to Seattle Police's Twitter page. And you can see over there that they're starting to move. If you want to follow and watch this happening right now, you can hear the live loudspeaker that they are telling crowds here to clear. It did uh sound a lot more rowdier rowdier earlier about i would say in the last five minutes things calmed down a bit as more people clear out but it looks like they are pretty much on their way to clearing out the beach uh also by 9 30 they were told that fires along the beach had to be cleared out as well but it looks like it is um it is getting cleared so yeah, Steve, I don't know if you have any other questions, but uh, we just wanted to let you know that things are significantly different from what we heard uh, here at Alki Beach uh, earlier. Back to you. Yeah, Christine, you spend a good part of your day out there on the beach talking to people. It was a gorgeous day. I'm sure the beach was packed. What was the mood like uh, then when people were outside and enjoying the sunlight? Yeah, it was really nice, you know, and people were definitely here. It was crowded, but, you know, it's one of those things where once it got dark and people showed up for that party, the mood just changed and almost immediately um, it just shifted, you know. It, was, it got pretty rowdy. People were playing, playing their music. There was a little bit of racing happening down on the street but right over here. But, um, but yeah, uh, you know, let's go closer. Let's go closer over there and see a little bit more of what's going on. And Steve, keep in mind, you know, we are in a holiday weekend. There are a lot of crowds. Um, a lot of crowds here, not a, a whole lot of people wearing their masks. Um, but people were out here having a good time. People were really in interested and in enjoying. Uh, but we're going to get a little closer. I would say hundreds of officers are here right now. And some lingering crowds just beyond this police line. They're not really leaving yet. A lot of people still here. So, Christine, are police moving yeah. that line back? Are they trying to get that crowd to, to go to a certain place? So what I'm seeing is, yes, it do, they do seem to be advancing slowly forward. I can't, I, I would want to get a little bit closer just to see, because police have let us go through here to show what's going on. 15 feet, okay. And I don't know if you can hear that loudspeaker, Steve, but, uh, but they, are, they are reminding people that it is now time to leave the beach. Um, I have not seen anything significantly crazy. It's just more or less people hanging out here and sort of lingering, you know, and just enjoying. Um, but we do know at least that there were at least two arrests so far. Of course, we'll keep watching those numbers and seeing, but... So here we are. So here we are. We're watching as uh, police are advancing a little bit. We're going to continue following this, and we'll get back to you in just a bit. For now, uh, we're live here in Alki Beach, but Steve, back to you. All right, Christine, thank you very much. If you just joined us there, Alki Beach is closed after... What we're told were some uh, some rowdy beach goers late in the evening. Of course, uh, Christine Pay is there at the scene. She will have more for us coming up tonight at 11 o'clock on King.